I had a hernia. I saw the surgeon. We set up an appointment for an outpatient surgery. It was a routine hernia surgery. And I had the surgery done, and I was out the same day. About a week, a week and a half later, I started having flu-like symptoms. I had a fever, a dizzy. I felt really weak and told the surgeon that my hernia site felt really hard. My wife came home from work and she took one look at me and brought me to the emergency. I remember looking at the patient monitor and seeing my vital signs dropping and I went out. And I woke up about five or six weeks later um, with no limbs, with missing my hands and missing my legs above the knee on both sides. Apparently a staph infection had set in after the hernia surgery. And by the time they were able to look at the hernia site and address it, I had already been in the hospital for a few days and it was already too late. Gangrene had already set into my limbs. Now I have pain all the time. I have the pain where I can feel my hands, where my hands used to be, and where I can feel my feet, where my feet used to be. It's a severe burning pain. It feels like they're frostbitten, and it also feels like I'm intermittently being uh, hit with an, like an ice pick. What was explained to me was that for pain and suffering, there was a limit, and they called it micro. And that the limit was that you could sue for for pain and suffering was $250,000 and that that limit had not been changed in 30 years. Mm -hmm. And because of MICRA, when they found out that my economic damages were going to be taken care of by workman's compensation, everything appeared to me that they just didn't want any part of the case. What dollar amount do you put on someone's life or someone's limb? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But to me, $250,000 doesn't sound like... Uh, a fair number.